okay students uh, in this session we cover we shall take up uh, one more example to discuss the concept of knapsack problem solving uh, by following the approach of dynamic programming okay so consider the provided question apply bottom up dynamic programming algorithm the same algorithm that we have discussed dynamic programming approach okay to so the following instance of knapsack problem here also the capacity is 5 the capacity is 5 and four items are given four items are given but this time the weights and the values are changed okay the weight is given and the values are the corresponding values nothing but the profits of each objects are given now so using dynamic programming approach we are having this initial setup i think we have uh, we are already discussed and comfortable with this so how many columns i must have to take capacity plus one plus one why just because of zero column okay so six rows how many sorry six columns how many rows four plus one that is zero to four so four plus one that is five rows so five rows and six columns we must have to create a matrix and zeroth row and zeroth column i must have to initialize all the values as zero 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 so th this is the initial setup for proceeding with the dynamic programming approach so in next step what we shall do we shall just uh, discuss very quickly okay because as this is the, already the second example we are discussing we shall proceed through so in the first step what we'll do we'll consider only one element only one object is there with us we must have to forget all the remaining objects okay with one objects if the capacity of the knapsack is zero can i put any element no i will proceed if the capacity of the knapsack is one can i put the object that i am having object one no because the object one weight is two so i i cannot put so i'll put zero here because I cannot put any object with capacity one. I will proceed further. If the capacity of the knapsack is two, if the capacity is two, can I put one object? Yes, that is object one because the object one is also having weight two. Now the capacity is also we are considering two. So I'll put that put that object into the knapsack. If I put that object into the into the knapsack, I will be obtaining the profit of three. So as I'm having only one object in my hand, even though the capacity of the knapsack is increases, I am not having any options. So I cannot, I can put only that object again into the knapsack, even though the knapsack capacity is increased and the profit remains same because I am able to put only that object of profit three. Okay. I think the, we are comfortable with this particular row. So we shall proceed next. What we are having, we can uh, consider next object as well. Object one and object two object one and object two so if the capacity is zero no object if the capacity is one again no object because we are not having any object with weight one correct if the capacity is two if the capacity is two okay uh, can i put uh, object two can i put object two no because the weight of second object is three if the capacity is two i can put only the object two same with the profit three i will copy the previous row okay then if the capacity becomes three if the capacity of the knapsack becomes three can i now put the object two yes because the object two weight is three capacity is three it matches the profit is four i will put the profit is four because i must have to select better object i can also put one here but, but uh, if i put one here again i will be obtaining the profit three but if the capacity is maximum i can utilize it correct and i can select object 2 with profit of 4 again if the capacity becomes 4 if the capacity becomes 4 can i add all the both the objects no if i add both the objects 2 plus 3 becomes 5 now the capacity is only 4 hence i can put only one object with a profit 4 next if the capacity is 5 if the capacity is 5 can i put both the objects now yes 2 plus 3 becomes 5 what is the total profit 3 plus 4 it is 7 simple okay then we shall proceed further okay now we shall consider all the three objects okay so if i want to put all the three objects what is the total weight 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 4 it is 9 it is 9 but the capacity is maximum 5 so i cannot put all the objects at a time at all if i cannot put all the objects at a time so if i select okay if i select second object and third object what is the total four plus three that is seven weight will be seven but the capacity is five only 
so i cannot put the combination object 2 and object 3 can i put object 1 and object 3 4 plus 2 no it becomes 6 the capacity is only 5 i cannot put so i can put only the combination object 1 and object 2 okay if i put object 1 and object 2 what will be the weight 2 plus 3 it is 5 and the, what is the total profit 7 so i will be writing 7 here so no better possible combinations previous i will be keeping as it is i will be keeping as it is okay we shall proceed further i will be considering all the four objects now all the four objects okay so if the capacity is 5 if the capacity is 5 can i put object 4 only object 4 if i put what is the value what is the profit 6 what is the profit 6 but is there any better combination with capacity 5 if i combine object 3 and object 4 it becomes greater than 5 no possible if i combine object 2 and object 4 not possible only co possible combination is again object 1 and object 2 because 2 plus 3 gives 5 and the total profit is 7 no better possible combinations we can obtain even though we are having the option 4 i am not having, able to increase the profit so this is the finalized matrix now this is the finalized matrix and you can also calculate the elements inside this matrix using the formula that we have discussed in the previous session okay you can just cross verify one or two elements that are we whatever, whatever you have decided is correct or not okay then. so after getting this now we must have to decide which elements to consider which elements not to consider how to consider that so maximum is seven so before selecting or before deciding to select object 4 what i must have to do i must have to compare with the previous row okay if the 7 is there exist in previous row so yes it is existing and hence i will not consider item 4 i will not consider item 4 because the 7 is not the contribution the profit 7 is not the contribution of object 4 it was earlier present earlier also before introducing object 4 i was already getting the profit 7 so even though if i had object 4 or if i not having object 4 i will be getting a profit of 7 so better it is not to include object 4 so i will check for next object 3 so before deciding i again check for previous row that is object 2 yes it is present again 7 is present in here so i will not consider the element 3 or i will not consider the item 3 because here you can see v of 3 comma 5 is equal to v of 2 comma 5 means the last row of so the last column of third row is same as last column of second row if it is same not to include so proceed so here 7 is there but here 3 is there so they are not same they are not same means we will include we will include so item 2 is included in the subset because it is not same okay then what next 7 3 okay of course this is having seven but what is the profit of seven what is the profit out, out, out of seven here uh, out of seven the object two was giving only four object two was giving only four so seven minus four is three so i must have to find in the table from where i got this three from where i got this three here the three is there the profit three is there because item one provided us the profit three and it is not present in the previous row and hence item one is included in the subset okay find that so what is the final answer you have to write the optimal subset contains item one and item two the total weight is item one weight of item one plus weight of item two it is two plus three kg the total profit is profit of item one plus profit of item two it is three plus four it is seven so this is your final answer you must have to highlight this okay clear so this is the brief discussion of an example of how to solve uh, knapsack problem using dynamic programming approach so here is one more example for you to go through it later when you are free so this is the question the knapsack capacity is five again but the weights and values are changed okay in the this example so this is the final matrix that you will be obtaining after following the dynamic programming approach so cross verify if you solve the procedure you follow the procedure that we have discussed in this session okay and obtain the matrix try to obtain the matrix and the items selected are marked here item one and item two are selected kindly verify whether you also will be getting the same answer or not 
okay and this question has been given in the exercise parts of part of your prescribed textbook okay applying the dynamic programming approach uh, find the solution for this knapsack problem by considering weight equals 60 uh, sorry weight equals 6 capacity of the knapsack equals 6 and uh, five items are given in this example five items the corresponding weights and corresponding profits are being given so next uh, let us have a look at the important part that is the concept at the PTU exam question papers as I already told so just now we have discussed this particular example solve the following instance of knapsack problem using dynamic programming knapsack capacity is 5 so this problem we had discussed in the previous session I think in the session one of knapsack problem so this same question has been discussed sorry it has been asked in two question papers July 2017 and January 2019 both are has been asked for eight marks next applying bottom up dynamic programming algorithm same approach that the formula we have discussed right so you must have to apply that to the following instance of the knapsack problem the knapsack capacity provided here is 10 knapsack capacity is 10 four items the corresponding weights and the values are given with capacity 10 and it has been asked in july 2019 for 10 marks 10 marks the easier uh, the easiest uh, concept i think you can consider this uh, for scoring uh, better marks in less amount of time and you'll be obtaining 10 marks and there is no possibility of detecting much marks also here because no much theory diagrams have been included each and everything is numerical according to the logic and according to the formula you are just filling up the matrix and as per the logic you are deciding the contents of the subset and nothing to detect here correct so you'll be getting 8 to 10 marks minimum if this question is asked of course if the question is not asked in module 4 in dynamic programming it will be of course asked in module 2 in greedy method the knapsack problem i think the session helped you to understand the knapsack problem using dynamic programming approach okay so you utilize this session find this uh, session uh, that you'll be uh, will be uploading in youtube soon we'll be sharing the slides with you okay practice this and become more confident and comfortable with the topic thank you